Would you guys be able to take me seriously if I did my whole video in this hat? <laughs> I love this hat! Let me tell you a little bit about this hat, okay? This hat is a hat that many people hate, including my father. Let me, let me give you the full view of said hat. And many people have tried to steal it from me and make sure I never wear this hat again. But New York is freaking cold. New York is like Arctic cold right now. So Michelle needs this hat to function, to walk to the subway, to walk to work, to leave her apartment. I need this hat. So this week, we're talking about relationships, past relationships, the mistakes we've done that we have learned from. And these aren't mistakes. These are, you know, it's part of the learning process. It's part of figuring out what you want in a relationship and how to interact with your partner and who you're with. So I would have to say my two biggest mistakes in past relationships have been as follows. Thinking that I, single-handedly, just me, can make someone happy. That I somehow have the ability to make someone happy. And not, not the way that you make people happy when you're in a relationship with them or you're friends with them, but to really help them kind of find happiness within themselves. And, and I thought that I could be that person. And I don't care who you are, what you do, what secret power you have, but if a person isn't happy with themselves and hasn't found this sense of self, you cannot, under any circumstance, be that source for them or, or you know, whatever. You could, you could help them. Um, you could be there to support um, in whatever kind of way that is, whether it's a friendship or a relationship, but you cannot be the source. You cannot be the person that does that soul searching for them. And I was kind of always under the assumption, and this also happened in friendships, that I could do that. That I had some secret special sauce that no one else had, that I was able to do for this person what they had to do for themselves. That's that's mistake number one that I did. And mistake number two would be to put all my needs and wants on the back burner and put their needs and wants on the front burner. And I thought if I move some of these things around, you know, like move some of their needs and wants on the back burner and move mine on the front burner and whatever else, that all of a sudden I'd become selfish, that I'd be the really selfish, horrible person in the relationship. And frankly, you need to have a balance. Like those two front burners better have something from you and something from the other person. And those two back burners better have something from you and something from the other person. But those back burners, you know, don't need to exist if if everyone's being kind of front and center with their needs, their wants, their emotions, and to communicate, right? I think my fault in past relationships was that I never communicated what I wanted and what I needed. And when I did, I would assume that they're not as important as my partner's stuff. And that's not the case. Like, it doesn't make you selfish. It doesn't make you a bad person. And it doesn't make you evil to say, no, I need this shit. This is shit I need. And if you can't deliver on it, or if you can't compromise, or if you can't meet me halfway, you're not the right person for me. And you know, again, this takes this takes a while to learn. <laughs> Especially if you're like me, it takes a while to learn. But God, I am so happy that those are mistakes that I realized. And I and don't get me wrong, I always kind of have to be cognitive of it. I always have to make sure I'm not falling in the same sort of mentality or the same sort of thought pattern because it's it's always you know until it starts coming natural and day by day it becomes a lot more natural um you know i i always kind of have to be aware of how i'm acting in situations and and what i'm doing and that sort of thing so i don't fall back in the same patterns but i have to say in in this relationship i have 
I have done probably the most amount of growth I've ever done. And, and you know, my girlfriend definitely keeps me on my toes, which is great. And she holds me accountable, which is also really nice. So she knows my faults and she knows where I kind of, you know, where my mistakes are. And she holds me accountable to that. And, and I love that. I love that about her. So that's it. That's my answer for this week's question. Really, really serious kind of getting to know you sort of topic and I will see you next week but not on Thursday because I'm going to Costa Rica on Saturday I'm so excited and um, I won't be around and I don't know where I'll be and maybe I'll be ziplining and maybe I'll be visiting a volcano maybe I'll be on the beach maybe I'll be in a rainforest and and hopefully I will not be by the computer especially in Costa Rica so I will see you guys on probably Sunday-ish, Saturday-ish, one of those. But before I go, I wanted to wish everyone a happy Merry Christmas, if you celebrate, and a happy, happy, happy New Year. But I think maybe next week we'll, we'll chat about this year. We'll do a little New Year's topic because you got to wrap up 2010, right? I will see you guys next week. Mwah. Bye.